What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all for coming out. I told y'all I'm going to come out with some 2K news. And I got some 2K news. Uh, it's not too much 2K news you can actually tell because right now it's just rumors. And it's not too many leaks because they ain't coming out with nothing. So basically most people just posting out content, assumptions, um, guesses, you know. We're going we gonna to come out with the true facts around here. We may do assumptions too. It's okay. Nothing wrong with it, really. Uh, but as y'all see on the screen, when we're talking about some 2K ratings, uh, me personally, I play play now. I play head to head. Uh, this year, I played a lot. Uh, made it to uh, Hall of Fame. I needed one more to do the greatest of all time. As y'all see on the left hand side, this is NBA 2K22. And on the right hand side, this is NBA 2K23. Now already we see something wrong with the picture. Already it's off rip. We see something wrong with the picture. I ain't gonna lie to you. So on the picture right here, y'all see Curry at a 96 on 2K22. Then on 2K23 we see Curry as 93. That that don't that don't make no sense. Bro just won the finals MVP. Then he sat there and just won the finals. He had a hell of a year and a hell of a playoff. Like the whole playoffs, yeah, pretty did pretty pretty good. You ask me, and y'all drop him down three points. Then you got Jordan Poole at 81. He went up by one. I think bro should be at 85. If you ask me, uh, and I don't and I don't want to get too ramped up about the 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 uh, the ratings because. This is this is just pre-alpha, pre-beta, whatever. So they may change the ratings pretty soon. I'm, I'm hopefully, you know, they probably just throwing some numbers out there, just you know, giving them what they want to give them. Yeah, Clay Thompson, he dropped all the way down to an 80, and I, that's respectfully because he ain't he ain't do nothing in the playoffs. Even though he is coming off an injury, that's cool. So by the mid-season, I expect bro to be back at like an 85, you know, between 85, 88. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, 83. Mm, I, they could have bumped him up to 85 because he showed him a little spark, a little razzle dazzle. You know, he showed him a little spark, man, in the playoffs. Uh, he shows one of the reasons why they did win instead of Klay Thompson. Uh, no, no, ain't throwing no shade out there, though. Uh, Draymond Green went up by one. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I do have, I really do have a, a big problem with Curry. Dropping down three points. All everybody on the, on the Warriors is is cool. Maybe besides Jordan Poole, but you can take take it with a grain of salt. But Curry should be a 96. You know what I'm saying? Stay at a 96, or they just drop him down to a 95. But they dropped this man down to 93. I don't understand it. Please in the comment section, let me know. If you think Curry should be a 96, 95, 96 range. Uh, then you got Chris Paul. They drop, they, they just dropped Buddy two points. And I don't know how to feel about that. Because like I say, I use the Suns a lot in my tournaments I do. I use the Suns a lot. I use Chris Paul. I use uh, Mikael Bridges and, and Aiden on my leagues. So... They, they really did drop Chris Paul two points. I don't know how to feel about that. I guess that's okay. Uh, you know, he didn't really, he had a rough playoff uh, year this year. Uh, Devin Booker went up two points. No, I'm sorry. He dropped two points. I'm looking at 2K22. I guess because they had a bad playoff game. That's what I'm saying. You see, they had them two had a bad couple of playoff games as far as, uh, I know the last game for sure. I'm not understanding why they dropped Devin Booker two points. Why they just couldn't leave him at a 91. Now you got the cover, cover athlete, bro, a whole 89. <laughs> he ain't even a 90. So like, like I say, these ratings may change, bro, uh, because they just probably just threw some, some numbers out there. But y'all know once preseason start of basketball actually really starts, a lot of these numbers are gonna change. Probably when the game come out, a lot of these numbers are gonna change. But it's just crazy how they're being real disrespectful. And Bridges went down by one point. Uh, he's an 82 now. He was an 83. Uh, Jay Crowder is the same. I mean, he don't really do too much special. He do the same thing every year to get the same number. Uh, Aiton dropped down two points. 
I'm cool with that. I'm gonna tell you why. Because bro ain't really do enough for me in the playoffs. Uh, you know, they, they like to do a lot of stuff in the regular season, <clears throat> but we don't care about regular season, bro. I'm gonna tell you something. I care about playoffs, crunch time. And that's when the defense gonna turn up. That's when, that's when players gonna really fight for them loose balls. You know, they gonna do whatever they gotta do just to win. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, with the next team we gonna do. All right, y'all. So, also, uh, shout out to uh, Jumpman Germ for that last picture I just showed y'all. Uh, Cause Buddy, Buddy really did help me out. Cause I was trying to get all these numbers together, man, and trying. I was, I was everywhere. I was losing my mind, bro. I really was losing my mind. Uh, so, before we get into this next one, uh, make sure I hit that like button, subscribe, comment, please comment, bro. Um, I like to interact with you guys. I like to see what you guys think and say about the video and critique it. Or you got any ideas coming up or what you want me to cover. Uh, yeah. Also, I did go live on Sunday. Uh, it was a grand finale of A Way Out. I was doing I was doing a co-op with my buddy, uh, Tone Bone. And man, let me tell you something. That game was, was crazy. But anyways, you got the Bulls and the Celtics. So on my right-hand side, you see the head-to-head -head of... Um, What's this? You see the head-to-head -head of uh, the Bulls. So, uh, Lonzo Ball for 2K23 is an 81. Sorry for the blurry numbers, man, but we're going to try our best to kind of, you know, read it. Uh, Lonzo Ball is an 81, uh, so he dropped one point. I mean, bro was, bro was balling out this year until he got hurt. So, I can, I can, I can say, you know, that's cool. He's an 81. He probably lost some, you know. Zach Levine. On 2K23, that looked to me, it looks like an 88. I can't see how you drop this man. You, you really can't drop him because at one point in time, bro was a heart of the team. He asked for some help. He got it with the Rosen and Lazo came in. So they left him at an 88. I think don't 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 attack me, but I think that is 88. Let's see if we can zoom in. That looked like an 86. It better not be an 86. I hope it's not an 86. Because on the right-hand side on 2K22, as y'all see right here in the overall section, he is an 88. And that's 2K22. So, he better not be no 86. I know that much. So, we're just going to leave it at that. So, then you got DeMar DeRose. That's an 88 on 2K23. Uh, he was a 90, so he dropped down two points. I, To me personally, I think bro should have stayed a 90. Because he showed his behind this year. You understand me? Maybe not in the playoffs too much, but he picked up where he left off when he was with the Raptors. He's hitting buzzer beaters back to back. Uh, brother Man was, was was really helping Zach Levine carry his team. Even with Zach Levine, I think when he got hurt when he went playing, DeMar, DeMar DeRozan was that man. The mid range assassin. You know what I'm saying? You know, he going to hit the threes. He going to hit threes. But. The mid range is, is his game. So then you got Patrick uh, Williams. He was a 75. Um, Buddy was a 74 on 2K22. So uh, I didn't really watch him play too much. Uh, but, you know, if they say he made a 75, that's cool. That's a good improvement, man. Um, don't pay no mind to the writers of all these players. I didn't know Dr uh, Drummond was on the Bulls. Now, I guess he got traded. Uh, I'm not for sure. Then you got uh, then you got Nik uh, Nikola Vuj Vujovic. I, I know I just messed up his name real bad. But bro was an 83. They dropped him down to an 82. Um, he came from the Magic's. Uh, I know he had a rough start in the beginning of the season. But he kind of toned it out, and he became a big asset to the team. And, you know, I don't know, man. We're going to see what happens. Um, he can shoot, though, so we'll see. Um, all right, then you got the Celtics. You got Marcus Smart, right? And this was this is what this is what killed me. Um, this is this is what this is what kind of bothered me. So. You got Marcus Smart on 2K22 of 79, right? And we just gonna go all the way, man. You saying, and you got you got Jalen Brown in 85. Why the hell Jalen Brown not a 90? Why is Brown not a 90? 
answer answer that question. Jalen Brown should be a 90, bro. And there's no question about it. Jalen Brown should be 10 points over Marcus Smart. Now Marcus Smart should be about an 82, 83, because you as you see on the right hand side, he's a 79 on 2K22. Um, but on, on 2K23, he's an 80. Okay, that's cool, Marcus Smart. But I think he should be an 82, 83, because uh, he did play a big role this year. Uh, he did um, do a lot of things that, that he was asked for. Uh, you know, he's not a mainly a point guard, but he was running point. But Jalen Brown being an 85, and on 2K22, he was an 86. And that's what I'm saying. Take these ratings with a grain of salt, because that don't make no dang on sense. But y'all, my boy, hey. Um, whew, man. Look, bro was dang there better than Jason Tatum in the majority of the games, even in the playoffs. So I just don't understand why bro 85. And I know my eyes don't ain't, ain't tripping. You just, I know my eyes, I know your eyes ain't tripping either. That's an 85, ain't it? That's an 85. All right, cool. So then you got Jason Tatum at 91. Uh, bro went up one. Um, despite the struggles in the in the, in the uh, finals. Uh, I mean, you can you can take that. You know, he went up one point. Out of like 92, 93 possibly, because uh, he is a, the 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 heart of the team now. He is a, the man uh, of the Celtics. Uh, then you got Al Horford. Al Horford is. <laughs> hey man, this guy is a character, dude. Um, Al Horford was an 80. He went up one to 81. Uh, that's that's cool. That's not a bad. Uh, I mean, Al Horford is getting older, bro, and, and I mean he's still doing being at a consistent rate, you know. So he's he's all right. He's doing pretty good. But uh, Robin Williams uh, was 82. He went up to 84, respectfully. Uh, bro is bro is playing better. He playing. He had a hell of a season this year than last year. I know that. Uh, so he's really improving. So, yeah, man, like I say, man, uh, these ratings, bro, is, is is crazy, man. I don't, I don't know, Jalen Brown being an 85, and then if I'm not, that looks like an 86 on Zach Levine, but we're going to say an 88. But if Zach Levine is an 86 and he dropped down two points, that's an issue, too. Uh, Curry's going, Curry overall is an issue as well. Um, Jalen Brown, man. Let's just talk about Jalen Brown for a second. Like, we just need a matter of fact, we just need a moment of silence because uh, 85. Oh God. But yeah, man. Like I'm not like I say. Take these rays with a grain of salt. I will be dropping another one out probably this Thursday or Friday, uh, talking about everything we know so far about 2K. Uh, there has been a lot of stuff that's came out. Uh, that shakedown 2012 that he did actually. Uh, he went to. Uh, Vegas to play 2K23 early, and uh, he came out with some news. We're gonna react to that, and we're gonna talk about it, dissect it, and then everything that 2K that actually came out with, we're gonna talk about it. Uh, but yeah, man, it's not like I said, it's not that many news is gonna come out. Uh, as y'all know, a lot of these news is gonna come out in August, and they come in order. Uh, I, if y'all go check my last video, y'all go see it, and I put post it when in order how they gonna have it in august not the specific days but it did say that this is how it's gonna be but yeah man i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel man go check out the other 2k23 uh videos i made i did make a playlist i'm gonna post it somewhere around here i don't even know it's gonna be around somewhere around here make sure y'all check it out um we talked about trailer when it came out uh we talked about the jordan challenges the 10 jordan challenges plus the five we're gonna be getting and then the last video i want to say we talked about uh which edition should you get so um yeah if y'all don't know i am getting the 150 edition uh if you want to get that edition that's up to you i know why i'm getting it uh but yeah so i'm out and i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all